So I've owned a social media marketing agency just over two years now. If I were to start all over again, these are the three things I would do. Starting out, I had no clue what type of industry I wanted to serve or even specifically what type of business owner I wanted to help with my service. I came quitting from my corporate nine to five and I was just really excited to be on my own and just have control over my schedule as well as my life. Yeah, working a nine to five sucks. So my focus at the time was just close as many deals as possible, let as many people know as possible what I do and people would just magically reach out and do business with me. So I was really fortunate enough to make a lot of friendships uh, leading up to that point. So it was really easy for me to just text them, send them a message and let them know what I was about and what my service was. But I do wholeheartedly believe that if I were to really specify and break down who this person is, what they look like, what they do for a living, what their pains and their fears are, I would have made way bigger momentum right out the gate. So people just starting out, not just for SMMA, but any online business, it's really important to figure out who you want to serve. It's really important to live the life of that person, that type of buyer that you want to attract. And you do that through the way you carry yourself, the way you live your life, the way you do content. And that's really gonna help you gain attention from the people you wanna do business with. So what really helped me specify who I wanna do business with was what do I know and what am I passionate about? You know, there's tons of people out there gonna be like, ah, oh, you know, don't do your passion, yada, yada, yada but I'm from the belief is that you're gonna be a lot more confident if you talk about something that you know and that you're just very passionate about. And for me, it had always been real estate. That's something that I've always had a huge interest in. Aside from sports and working out and golf and things like that, real estate is something that has always just been in the back of my mind. I own my own house. I'm looking to build a real estate investing portfolio. And, you know, reflecting on my career of where I've come from, being involved in the real estate industry, it just made sense to just really hit that industry hard. And it took me about six or seven months of just starting Praise Media before totally gravitating towards that. And when I made that pivot, just committing everything towards that industry, dude, the leads just started pouring in. And you know, there's just this power of just being very clear on what you do, especially when you're starting to build like referral partnerships in the beginning, because when someone that you're working with has clarity on what exactly what you do, it's very easy for them to sell you to other people. Hey, thanks so much for watching so far. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found any value at all, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button so you won't miss any future videos. Also, if you need any help implementing anything that I've gone over in the presentation so far, be sure to book a free call with my media team and you can access that by hitting the link down in my description. We have a full done for you service where we handle every aspect of the content creation process. So all you have to do is dedicate about two to three hours to us every single month, and then you can focus on other aspects and growing your business. Can't wait to work with you. So the second thing I would have done differently is I would have built out systems and processes first before promoting. So there's gonna be a lot of people out there are gonna be like, you know, promote first, man, just promo advertising. Sales is what matters most. But dude, if you don't have any systems or processes in place, you're screwed. So what I did when I first started Praise Media is that I just went into my phone. I literally made a list of a hundred people that I knew and I sent them each a text message, scheduling some type of lunch or meeting just to keep them updated on what I was doing next. And even though it really helped me get in front of the right people and scheduling meetings, and then making these people into clients, it slowed things down a little bit when I didn't really have a system or process in place. And what I mean by this is like having like a sales process in place, asking the right questions, being able to have a client on a journey to help them make their decision easier. And so I found myself asking a ton of questions, you know, even some of these questions just didn't make any sense. And because of that, I lost some sales. But if I had some type of structure within the sales process being like, okay, this is what we're about. This is our mission. This, these are our goals. This is what we can do to help you. This is how we're going to get you there. You see how much more interesting that is. In addition to that, being able to have people in place doing the things that you are weak at. 
So when I first started Praise Media, I was doing everything. I was coming up with ideas. I was helping clients script it. I was filming it. I was editing it. And then I was posting it. And you can only tell how much time and energy that takes. And so you're probably saying, hey, Michael, you don't have any clients. So why are you even worried about systems and processes? You're right. But you know, my philosophy is that I'd rather have all my bases covered, have everything set in place. So in the rare case that, you know, more than one sale comes in, you can service and fulfill everything. And so with that said, I was catching myself not only spending a lot of time and energy figuring out the systems and processes, but also promoting. So when you're putting like 50% on each of those buckets, I mean, you're not really putting all of your energy into it. So now I'm blessed to say that I have a team of videographers, uh, editors, and also social media managers. So it gives me a lot more time that I can buy back and put it into promoting and advertising praise media. Going back in time, I would have had all those things locked down, at least one person in each of those categories before full-blown promoting. So the last thing I would have done differently is that I would have posted a lot more social media content. At that time, I was only posting on social media about a couple times a week. If I were to go back, I definitely would have posted every single day and just make specific content towards the customers that I wanted to attract. Just knowing how extremely powerful social media video content is, I've been committed to posting one short form video every single day, and it has opened so many opportunities for me. So posting videos consistently has allowed me to bring in more clients, grow out my team, create more referral partnerships, and also speak on podcasts and in front of business groups. So I know that, you know, creating content and promoting kind of goes hand in hand, but I do believe that the systems and processes is part of creating and executing social media content. So if you're starting out in SMMA or any other online business, I really do highly suggest jumping all in on video content. And something that you can do to start out is really talk about the technical aspects of your industry. So if you own like an editing agency, you can talk about what specific softwares you can use to really amp up your video content. And if you own an ads agency, you can do video content that basically compares doing paid advertising compared to organic content and see which one performs better. And what you can also do is search on Google the most frequently asked questions in your industry and make a video answering every single one of them. You'll be surprised at how much momentum you'll create because there are so many people out there that is just craving to hear that voice. And I truly believe that every person has a unique voice. So you have to see social media as an ice cream shop. Everybody has their own favorite flavor. So your voice or your video content can gravitate towards somebody or someone else's content gravitate towards somebody else. But the important thing is to build that social media content creation muscle as soon as possible. So those are the three things I would have done differently if I started my SMMA all over again. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to see more content on this channel, be sure to hit up one of these behind the scenes videos where I shoot one of my monthly real estate clients. Until next time, stay blessed.